Alright guys, so if your computer's not turning on at all, and you have already checked that you have your cable connected and everything, and it's still not turning on, and you want to know what's going on, you don't know where to begin, well, you don't have to go to a tech now and go pay them a lot of money, because I'm about to show you how to troubleshoot this problem, okay? First thing you got to do is get your power cable and test it. You want to test if your power cable is the one that's bad first. So take your power cable and, and uh, plug it into another computer, another monitor, or whatever, and make sure it powers on. If it does power on, it means your cable works, okay? It means it's working fine. So then, what can be the problem then? The, the next thing is your power supply, this right here, power supply. So let's, um, let's take out the screws on this, uh, on this thing here and open it up so we can test the power supply. Now, you're going to need a power supply tester for this. And you can go on eBay and get it for a decent price. And um, the price is posted on the video right now. You can get it for that price on eBay. And uh, also the description should be posted on the video right now. And it looks like this right here this is a power supply tester and we're gonna use this right now to to uh, test our power supply all right I'm gonna disconnect it for now I don't wanna get shocked or anything I'm gonna take out my uh, case lid here and all computers are different so yours might be might open a little bit different just find out how to do it so first thing we gotta do here to test this power supply is we're gonna have to disconnect our um, on your motherboard you're going to find that it's connected to something like that right there sorry if it's a little dark I'm trying to get as much light as I can so go in here and disconnect it there's going to be a little tab right here right here there's a little tab make sure you press it and it should slide right out right there see just like that and this one has an extra one right here same thing just slide it out okay bam you're going to need these guys right here this is the, what the power supply connects to, to your motherboard, right? So, we're going to get our power supply tester, which is right here. So we get our power supply tester, and we get our power supply connector, and we put it on the tester right here. It's not right there, I think it's over here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. So, all the lights turn on. My power supply is good. If yours, if you're using the power supply tester and uh, a couple of these lights are missing, if only a couple of them are turning on, that means your power supply is bad, okay? If all of them are on, your power supply is good, all right? So, let's say your let's say your power supply was good and still your computer wasn't turning on. What do we do now? Okay. So if if your power supply is good and your power cable is good, then that means your motherboard is bad, okay? So we're going to use a motherboard tester and also you can get this on eBay. Connects through um, through these ports right here. Which is PCI, I believe. That's what they're called, is PCI. PCI ports. And uh, it's got for both of them, for the straight and for the one that's uh, that has it like that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. It's pretty easy. All we're going to do is go down here in between my video card and this other thing. It's going to fit right in here. Push it in, bam, there it goes, all right? So there we go. Got the motherboard tester. Now when you when you buy this motherboard tester, it's going to come with a little booklet. Let me bring it out real quick. It should be around here somewhere. Here it is. PC Analyzer User's Guide, okay? 
if you notice over here it's got some uh, some numbers it's going to give you a code if your motherboard's bad it's going to give you a code now if your motherboard doesn't do nothing it doesn't even light up it means your motherboard motherboard is toast all right if you're having to do this i think you're going to have to replace your motherboard anyway but if you notice right here it says code whatever code it gives you that's the problem all right it could be your ram it could be a lot of things okay so use this uh user's guide to look at the code so let's plug it in and let's see what it tells us what I'm gonna have to do is connect it back to the motherboard because I have it right now to the to the tester so uh, let me connect it back to the motherboard so there is connected to the motherboard let's turn on the computer and let's see what it says it's telling us nothing actually and that is because my motherboard is good that's why it's not saying anything if yours says a code it means your motherboard is, has there's something wrong with your motherboard actually and also these lights here indicate something also your user's guide will talk about that and uh, that's it if a code pops up it means your motherboard is something wrong with your motherboard look at your user's guide if nothing comes up at all if it doesn't even light up at all it means you need a new motherboard okay so that explains why your computer is not turning on now one more thing that can be wrong I mean it's it's rare but it can be it could be your button that's bad okay your power button this cable right here is the one that goes to my power button actually these right here these two one is hard drive and one is power okay and they both go right here all right so make sure you follow the cables that go to your power and see where they go and make sure they're on right. Also this one here, this one here is also a power cable. I think this one might be the actual one for my power. But if you notice they go down here to these right here. So, so make sure those are connected right. And uh, if, that's the, if, if your power button is the problem you might want to change your case or order another one. I don't know how you would do that. Maybe go on eBay or something or maybe go into your uh, manufacturer's website. And that's it. Those are the problems that you got to address whenever your computer doesn't turn on. Hopefully this video has been really helpful to you and um, have a good day.